How's all face? It's Kat here and today's video again was requested by you guys from my palette collection video and you wanted to see a three looks one palette with the Sigma Cream Decatur palette. I love this palette so much. It is honestly the most perfect pastel dreamy palette ever. I am so sad that it is a discontinued palette because ugh, these colors are just so pretty and I just feel like anybody who loves pastels needs this palette in their life. I know you can find these on like Depop and Poshmark and all that so if you can get your hands on it. I would highly recommend it and if you already have your hands on it this video is perfect for you because I'm gonna do three looks one palette with this I had a couple people ask me if I could do it for them and so here I am and honestly it's literally the most perfect spring palette and I love doing spring makeup because you know pastels so if you guys would like to see how I got these looks please keep watching so for the first look we're gonna go in with the yellows and the powdery blue colors I love these colors so much I just love, 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 love a blue powdered eye. So we're gonna go in with these. But before I start anything, I am gonna go in with a white jumbo pencil and use this as a base on my lid just so we can get a little bit more brightness with these colors. They are very, very pastel, so I wanna just make a nice light lid. This is just the Milk Jumbo Pencil by NYX. So I'm gonna start off with this shade called Blue Chocolate and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna start running this, wait, look at my hair out of my face. I'm running that right in like the inner corner of my crease, so. I'm trying like a more avant-garde type of look today, I think. We'll see where this goes. I always kinda of change my mind midway, but we're going in here and I'm just gonna do a light color washing of this blue. But we're gonna stop it about here. So you're not gonna keep going, and then we're gonna take it into the corner and take it out. So we're leaving a nice little white gap. So you see, you kind of have that shape, but it's not connected. I'm gonna do that on the other eye as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of this brighter blue called Blueberry Cream right into like the center areas of this just to really make it pop more. Now with like a more tapered fluffier brush I'm gonna take the shade Ginger Pumpkin and I'm just gonna start mixing that in right just where like the blue meets where we left the spot empty so we're just gonna lightly blend that together. and blend it out. This is just a light wash of color. I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of apricot flower just to see if I can get a little bit more peachier. Cause I was a little too orange and I kinda want a little bit more of a peachier vibe. So I'm going in with apricot flower, this one. Take a little bit of apricot flower on the lower lash line as well. I'm going with a slightly fluffier brush, again going in apricot flower and really just blend that into the crease. Going back into that blue chocolate shadow, I just want to make sure I get that back in a little bit more where apricot kind of took over on the sedge, just to make sure we still have those blue sharp lines. into the shade Meyer Lemon, which is just a little pastel yellow shade. We're gonna press that all over the lid. And blend it into where we put Apricot Dream and orange uh, Ginger Pumpkin. I'm also gonna pop this into our inner corner. And brush a little bit of it on the lower lash line into that peach apricot. Then on a fluffy brush, I'm gonna take that same color and just run it through my brow bone. I'm trying to do like a more watercolory effect. I don't know if it's working. I've never done this style of makeup before, but I was like, why not try it today? Why not? So I'm gonna take a little bit of that yellow too and put it right here. I'm going back into apricot flower and just putting up a little bit more contrasty right there because I feel like I lost that color. I should have added white liner underneath my eyes, but I didn't, so let's mix that in there. 
I'm gonna take this like baby pinky white liner and I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And I'm gonna apply mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Eyes are done, let's finish up the rest of this face. For blush, I'm gonna go back into that apricot flower shadow. Now this is a tinier little thing, so be a little careful with your blush brush. And I'll apply that all over my cheeks, really making sure I'm blending it into the eyeshadow as well. So it's all melded. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that lemon shadow and just kind of tie it in as well. Not a lot, just like a tiny bit of that yellow. You can barely even tell I did it, but it just adds a little touch of just cohesiveness, I believe. For lips today, I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's Nude Beach. Just a nice pale nude. I'm going into this Rue 21, the Cruelty Free Unicorn Glow Palette, and I'm going to take this yellow shadow. It is the shade Golden Vanilla. The completed first look. I just wanted a cute little watercolor moment. So let's move on to look number two. Next look is just going to be an ultra purpley soft look. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go into the shade Lavender Honey, and it's a nice little violet shade, well, lavender, and we're going to run this through our crease. Now I'm gonna go start going into the shade Cassis. Cassis. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a darker purple shade, and we're gonna start running that right through the crease as well, just following that same shape we did before, blending it into the violet or the lavender shade. Back into Lavender Honey because I feel like I lost a bit of that color and I'm really just going to zoom that all the way blurring it through here. I'm also going to blend it out on the bottom, really focusing that color. Now I'm going to go in with a very light concealer and I'm going to place this all over my lids so I just make a nice light base for my next color because it's an ultra, ultra, ultra pastel shadow. And now I'm going into the shade Violet Whip and I'm placing that all over the lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color and put it on the lower lash line as well. And blend back in a little bit more of lavender honey. I just wanna blend a tiny bit more of the shade Cassis right in the corner where the two colors meet, the violet whip. So I'm just blending that together. And then going back in a lavender honey too, just to blend those two. For the inner corner, I'm going to take the shade Cherry Blossom. I'm just going to set that right in, pop a little pink. I'm going to go in with a purple liner and line my waterline with it.
Now I'm gonna add mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are done. Let's finish up this face. We're gonna go back into the palette for blush like I like to do. I always like to kind of use an eyeshadow in the palette to match my look. So we're gonna go actually back into Lavender Honey and just smother that all over our faces because it's just so pretty. And I just love that name, Lavender Honey, like so pretty. I'm trying to focus this blush too, like right along the temples where the eyeshadow is, so it all kind of just melds together. For highlight, I'm going into the Angels palette. I'm going to take the shade Celestial, which is like the bluey purple one. I'm going to apply that all over. <gasps> no! There's been a death in the family. I'll repress it, but oh, that's so sad. Okay, I just gotta be careful. I'm just gonna finish this up. Careful closing this one back up. For lips, I'm going to take the Lime Crime Plushie in the shade Violet and I'm put that first. And then I'm gonna top that off with their Diamond Crusher and Unicorn Queen. And this is the finished look. So let's move on to look number three. So the third and final look is just gonna be like a nice like minty green and yellow pink fantasy. Kind of want to match the pattern on this dress I'm wearing. I'm really just liking yellows and florals and so kind of want to tie all that in just to add a little bit more of the colors we didn't use and we didn't really touch these greens yet so let's play with those. I'm first going to go into the shade Citron Pistachio and we're going to put that on through our outer corner. Now I'm going to go in to the shade Almond Pear, which is like a minty green shadow. I'm going to put that just in the center of the lid, connecting it to where we put the Citron Pistachio. I'm going to go in with a concealer on a little brush and I'm just going to put a little bit onto the inner corner of my top lid just so we can get a nice light base for the yellow color. And then I'm just going to set that with the yellow color Meyer Lemon. Then I'm going to end with that same brush I used on those greens earlier, and I'm just going to blend Almond Pear with that yellow lemon color. And then go back into Pistachio as well. And then I'm going to continue that same color pattern on the lower lash line, just matching it to the top. So we go with Pistachio in the corner, then into Almond Pear. And then into Meyer Lemon. Now I'm gonna take a white liner and put it in my waterline. Now I'm gonna apply lashes and mascara off screen and I'll be right back. All right, eyes are done. Let's finish up the rest of the face. So I'm gonna go in, I want a really girly pinky blush. So we're gonna go into the shade Cherry Blossom and just apply this all over the cheeks. I think I want to add just a tiny bit of peachiness, so I'm going to go in with apricot flower and just apply a little bit of that as well into the cheeks, just so a little warmth. Nice little soft yellow highlighter. This is Golden Vanilla from the Rue 21 Unicorn Glow Palette. I'm just going to apply that to the cheeks. 
and a little bit in the brow bone area. Nose, Cupid's bow, and just a tiny bit to the inner corner of the eye. Then we're gonna finish up with some lips, and I'm just gonna go in with like a peachy pink, like neutral y color. This is Cupid by Lime Crime. I love this shade. And this is the final look. I don't know if you guys could notice, but I was kind of trying to go for like a 60s mod type of feel. I don't know if I did that, but I don't know. I've been trying out new eye like shadow shapes and not trying to do the same type of thing because I see myself doing the same eye. And so I kind of have wanted to play around with different shapes and everything. So I thought since I was using colors that I'm normally comfortable using with this palette, let's get a little different with my shapes. So... I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials if they were what you were looking for. These are some fun just spring makeups that you can do with the Cream de Couture palette. I love this palette so much. It's just literally the perfect pastel palette as I said before. And there's so many different options you can do. You just If you love playing with color, I would definitely try to get your hands on it. It is a discontinued palette so you will have to buy it second hand most likely. But I think I've seen it on Depop and on Poshmark a couple times. So just keep your eye out for it. If you are a lover of pastels and colors, you really need this for your collection. Because it's honestly bomb AF. And like having matte pastels is a rarity. So I would highly suggest it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Because I would just be really rad of you guys. Also, comment down below what palette you'd like to see me do next of a three look one palette. Because I'm having so much fun just revisiting all my older palettes right now. I hope you stay lovely. Bye!